வியூவர்ஸ் என்னோடய வீடியோஸ் பிடிச்சிருந்தால் லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் இது வரைக்கும் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணாதுங்க சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் ரைட் சைடில் இருக்கக்கூடிய பெல் பட்டனை கிளிக் பண்ணுங்கள் நீங்கள் கொடுக்குற ஒவ்வொரு லைக்ஸும் நான் நிறைய வீடியோஸ் அப்லோட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு மோட்டிவேட்டாக இருக்குது ஸோ லைக் ஷேர் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அண்ட் கமெண்ட் மை வீடியோ ஹாய் வியூவர்ஸ் இன்னைக்கு நம்ம பார்க்க போகிற டாபிக் கிளாஸ் செவன் சயின்ஸ் டேர்ம் ஒன் யூனிட் த்ரீ மேட்டர் அரௌண்ட் அஸ் லெசன் புக் எக்ஸசைஸ் கொஷின் அண்ட் ஆன்சர் ஐயர் ஆர்டர் திங்கிங் கொஷின்ஸ் அண்ட் இன் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் லெட் இஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் வித் த கான்செப்ட் மேப் சி சம் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டெஃபினிஷன்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் லெட்டர் சூஸ் த அப்ரோப்ரேட் ஆன்சர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் விச் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஃபாலோயிங் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் அ மெட்டல் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ ஐன் ஆப்ஷன் பி ஆக்சிஜன் ஆப்ஷன் சி இலியம் ஆப்ஷன் டி வாட்டர் ஏ த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ ஐன் செகண்ட் ஒன் ஆக்சிஜன் ஹைட்ரஜன் அண்ட் சல்ஃபர் ஆர் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஃபார் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ மெட்டல்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் பி நான் மெட்டல்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் சி மெட்டலாய்ட்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் டி இன்னட் கேசஸ் ஏ த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் பி நான் மெட்டல்ஸ் Third one, which of the following is a short and scientific way of representing one molecule of an element or compound? Option A, mathematical formula. Option B, chemical formula. Option C, mathematical symbol. Option D, chemical symbol. Here the correct answer is option D, chemical symbol. Fourth one, the metal which is liquid at room temperature is option A, chlorine. Option B, sulfur. Option C, mercury. Option D, silver. Yet the correct answer is option C, mercury. Fifth one, an element which is always lustrous, malleable and ductile is option A, non-metal, option B, metal, option C, metalloid, option D, gas. Yet the correct answer is option B, metal. Second Roman letter, fill in the blanks. First one, the smallest particle of matter that can exist by itself is dash. The answer is atom. Second one, a compound containing one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen is DAS. The answer is CO2 that is carbon dioxide. Third one, DAS is the only non-metal conducts electricity. The answer is graphite. Fourth one, elements are made up of DAS kinds of atoms. The answer is same. Fifth one, DAS of some elements are derived from Latin or Greek names of the elements. The answer is symbol. Sixth one, there are dash number of known elements. The answer is 118. Seventh one, elements are the dash form of pure substance. The answer is simplest. Eighth one, the first letter of an element is always written in dash letter. The answer is capital. Ninth one, molecule containing more than three atoms are known as dash. The answer is polyatomic molecule. Tenth one, dash is the most abundant gas in the atmosphere. The answer is The answer is nitrogen. Third Roman letter, analog. Question number 1. Mercury, liquid at room temperature. Oxygen, DAS. The answer is gas at room temperature. Second one. Non-metal conducting electricity, DAS. Metal conducting electricity, copper. The answer is graphite. Third one. Elements combine to form compounds. Compounds, DAS. The answer is can be split into elements. Fourth one, atoms, fundamental particle of an element. Das, fundamental particles of a compound. The answer is elements. Fourth Roman letter, straight, true or false. If false, give the correct statement. First one, two different elements have similar atoms. The answer is true. Second one, compounds and elements are pure substance. The answer is true. Third one, atoms cannot exist alone. They can only exist as groups called molecules. The answer is true. The answer is true. Fourth one, NaCl represents one molecule of sodium chloride. The answer is true. Fifth one, organ is monoatomic gas. The answer is true. Fifth Roman letter, answer in brief. Question number one, write the chemical formula and name the elements present in the following compounds. Second one, classify the following molecules as the molecules of element or compound. Question number three, what do you understand by chemical formula of a compound? What is its significance? Question number four, define the following terms with an example for each element, compound, metal, non-metal, metalloid. 
Number 5. Write the symbols for the following elements and classify them as solid, liquid and gas. Question number 6. Classify the following as metals, non-metals and metalloids. Question number 7. Classify the following as elements and compounds. Question number 8. Write the chemical formula for the following elements. Ninth one. What are elements? What are they made of? Give two examples. Question number 10. Define molecule. Question number 11. What are compounds? Give two examples. Question number 12. Give an example for the elements derived from their Latin names. Question number 13. What is atomicity of elements? Question number 14. Calculate the atomicity of H2SO4. 6th Roman letter. Answer in detail. Question number 1. Differentiate metals and non-metals. Question number 2. Explain the characteristics of compounds. Question number 3. Describe the different ways in which we can write the symbols of elements. Give appropriate examples. Question number 4. Differentiate between elements and compounds. Question number 5. Write any 5 characteristics of compound. Question number 6. Compare the properties of metals and non-metals. Give 3 examples for each. Question number 7. Write down the properties of metalloids. 7th Roman letter. Rewrite the sentence in correct form. Higher order thinking questions. 8th Roman letter. Higher order thinking questions. Question number 1. List out the metals, non-metals and metalloids which you use in your house, school. Compare their properties. Question number 2. What changes take place in the movement and arrangement of particles during heating process? Question number 3. In the diagram given below, the circle, square and triangle represent the atoms of different elements. Question number 4. Formulate a hypothesis based on the information provided. Ninth Roman letter. Consider the following statements and choose the correct option. First one, assertion. Oxygen is a compound. Reason. Oxygen cannot be broken down into anything simpler. From the given option, the correct answer is option D. That is, assertion is false but reason is true. That is, oxygen is an element, not compound. Second one, assertion. Hydrogen is an element. Reason. Hydrogen cannot be broken down into anything simpler. From the given option, the correct answer is option A. Both assertion and reason are true and the reason is the correct explanation of assertion. That is, hydrogen is an element and it cannot be broken down into anything simpler. Third one, assertion. Air is a compound. Reason. Air consists of carbon dioxide. The correct answer is not given. That is, both the statements are false. Assertion is false and reason is false because air is a mixture of gases and air consists of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and other noble gases. Fourth one, assertion. Air is a mixture of elements only. Reason. Only nitrogen, oxygen and neon gases exist in air. From the given option, the correct answer is option C. Assertion is true but reason is false because air consists of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, organ and other noble gases like neon. Fifth one, assertion. Mercury is solid in room temperature. Reason. Mercury is a non-metal. Here the correct option is not given. The correct answer is both assertion and reason are false because mercury is liquid at room temperature and mercury is a metal. Let us see some in-text activities. 
In text activities, activity 1, complete the following table. Activity 2, complete the following table. Activity 3, find out the symbols of the elements with the help of your teacher. Activity 4, write down atomicity of the following elements and compounds. Let us see some additional questions. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. It will be useful for your competitive exam.